objective of this video is to form a differential equation to model the growth of a certain species of fish. Okay, so let's read the question. Uh, a fishery scientist believes a good model for population size of a certain species of fish is that the population will grow at a rate proportional to the size of the population at any time. So this long sentence basically means the rate at which the number of fish will increase will depend on the number of fish at that time. That's what it means. There are 400,000 fish now, and the scientists believe there will be 600,000 fish in two years' time. Two years' time. Write, a, write this model as a differential equation using P to represent the number of fish and T to represent the number of years in, the time in years. Okay, so P is for number of fish or the population of fish and t is the number of years. So this, this whole sentence, if you write as a differential equation, we can write like this, dp by dt is proportional to p. Now p, this is a sign of proportional. So what this is, this, this is called a differential equation. Uh, this is saying the rate of increase in the population or the number of fish with respect to time is proportional to the number of fish. That's what we saw here. The rate of the, the, the population will grow at a rate proportional to the size of the population at any time. So I hope you know when you change the proportional uh, uh, proportion, you have to put a constant. So this is dp by dt is equal to k times p. It's k times p, where k is a constant. So here it's, you can say k is a constant of proportionality. Or you can say k is a constant. I'll put k is a constant. So now I'm going to, before integrating, I have to put the dp and p's together. So if you divide both sides by p, this is 1 over p dp. And multiplying both sides by dt is k dt. Hopefully this step is not that difficult. Or you are cross multiplied. This came down and this went up. Now I'm going to integrate both sides. The integration of 1 over p dp is k is a constant, so integration of dt. So integration of 1 over p is natural log of p is equal to kt plus c, where c is again a constant of integration. Uh, we only need to put the constant of integration on one side because this is an arbitrary constant. Even if you had put a constant here and here, ultimately that would be a new constant. That's why we, when you're integrating both sides, you put constant on only one side. Now, natural log has a base of e. So the next, in the next step, I'm going to write this without the modulus because p is the population of fish. Fish that's never going to be negative or zero. We are presuming it's always going to be positive. So modulus you can remove. So I can say natural log of p to the base e is kt plus c. Now this writing in, in, the, in the exponent form, I can say p is e to the power kt plus c. This implies p is e to the power kt times e to the power c. Uh, applying the the power rules, I hope you understand if you see backwards, e to the power k, this is simple rule like say a to the power m times a to the power n is a to the power m plus n. So basically I've used the rule like this. So it is kt plus c, it is same as e to the power kt times e to the power c. Now, well, this is a constant, e is a constant, and c is also a constant. So you can replace this by a new constant, say let us say that as a. So this differential equation will become p is equal to a e to the power kt. So here p, we have written this equation which relates p and t, where a, e, and k are constant. Okay, so let's use this equation to answer this question. There are two questions I want to discuss. Estimate the number of fish in five years' time. Okay, so what do we know? When time started, so let's go back, there are 400,000 fish now. 
This means if you translate this in T and T, this tends, this part of the sentence tells me when T is zero, P is four hundred thousand. And this part of the sentence tells me when T is equal to two, yes, P is equal to six hundred thousand. So I'm going to use these two information to find the constants A and K. So let me write the first uh, information. When T is zero, when time started, we know P is 400,000. So I'm going to put this information or this value in this equation. This implies 400,000 is equal to A times T to the power K times zero. So you can say 400,000 is equal to a e to the power 0. Now e to the power 0 or any number raised to 0 gives you 1. So you can say 400,000 is equal to a. So this equation now changes to, let me show you a little. So this equation now changes to p is equal to 400,000 times e to the power kt. Now what's the second piece of information? We know when t is 2, or after 2 years, your population of fish is 600,000. So let's put this again back into this equation. This implies 600,000 is equal to 400,000 times e to the power 2k. So I'm going to divide both sides by 400,000. If you divide this by 400,000, you can also divide this by 400,000. So this and this gets cancelled, and this is 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So this is 1.5 is equal to e to the power 2k. 2k. Now I'm taking natural log of both sides. So natural log of 1.5 is equal to e to the power, sorry, this is natural log of, natural log of e to the power 2k. Now using the log rule, I can say natural log of 1.5 is 2k times natural log of e. Okay, now natural log of e has a base of e, so again this becomes 1. Okay, so here, K, therefore I can say K natural log of 1.1.5 divided by 2 is equal to K. Now, so let me use the calculator. So I'm going to say that is natural log of 1.5 divided by 2. That's a huge number. So I don't want to round this. I want to use this whole number. And on a graphic calculator, you can use this arrow key to save this by a letter. So this is how you save this whole number. So you press this arrow key and you press alpha and any letter. Alpha means for any letter, you can say, I'll save this as A. And if you go execute, this has saved me. So I'll show you now. If you press now alpha A, the calculator will give me this huge number. So I'm going to say this uh, 0 0.2027. So, so K is 0 0.2027. That I'm going to save that as A. So now you know A. So your P is 400,000 times e to the power a t. Okay, in, in place of k, I have put a, which is this huge number of uh, 0 0.2027. Uh, it goes on and on. So now let me answer the question. Estimate the number of fish after five years. So here we can say, now you got t is phi. What is p? So let us put this. So this is 400,000 times e to the power a is, uh, sorry, t is 5, so you can say it is 5a. So let me again use the calculator. So this is 400,000 times shift 
E. I'll put this as 5A5 alpha A. Now, this is a neat thing about a graphic calculator. This will understand A as 0 0.2027, whatever. And you go execute. So, this is 100 and uh, uh, 1 million 102,270. So, let me write that. So, that's 1 million uh, 102,000. 270.384 that's what the calculator gave me but I want to write this as a sig as one significant figure because the question is in one significant uh, these information is in one significant figure so this is nothing but after five years the population of fish would be one one million okay so that is one and you've got six zeros so after five years you can see that the population has become for, sorry, 1 million. Okay, let me finish this. Estimate the number of months that the population take uh, population size to double. So let me write the equation again. So this is the equation P is equal to 400,000 times e to the power 80. Now the question is when P is 800,000, uh, 800, what is T in months? T in what's the number of months? That's the question. Not we started with T as number of years, we have to change that into months. So let us put this back. So 800,000 is equal to 400,000 times e to the power a t. So this you divide both sides by 400,000. This is 2 is equal to e to the power a t which implies natural log of 2 is equal to natural log of e to the power a t. So, here this implies natural log of 2 is equal to a t times natural log of e to the base e. Again, this becomes 1. So, t is nothing but natural log of 2 divided by a. So, I have saved that A on my calculator. So, I go natural log of 2 divided by alpha A is 3.419 years. So, this is in years. So, this is 3.419 years. Now, I want to change this into months. So, this is T is equal to 3 years plus 0.419 years. I want to be exact as possible. So this is t is equal to, this is 36 months. This is 36 months plus. So I'll take away 3. So I'll get the whole decimal point And that you times it by 12, which is 5.02 months, which is 5 months. So this is one mistake that students do. They treat this as 4 months. This is, in fact, 5 months. So in months, after 41 months, the population of the fish would have doubled. That means from 400,000, it would become 800,000.